Hi friend, it's Stace. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to share this new series with you all about self-love. If you are like me and you struggle to be vulnerable or open up, then I'm hoping that this will help you to discover who you are and to love yourself a little bit more than what you have been. Um, my self-love quest started quite a few months ago and I'm not gonna lie, it is not easy. Uh, when I thought of self-love in the beginning, I just thought, oh, you know, self-care, put on a face mask, do your hair, wear your favorite clothes, um, have a night in. But I soon realized that it was a lot more than just self-care. Yes, self-care is part of it, but um, it's definitely a lot more to self-love than just that. Um, going into this series, I am super nervous. Oh, I'm actually a little anxious if I'm being honest. This is really outside of my comfort zone. Like I'm the one who always talks to other people about their problems. I'm never the one who is seeking help. I struggle to ask for help. I struggle to open up completely, especially if I don't know you very well. Um, I tend to lean towards people who've, uh, whom I've known for a really long time and that I feel I can trust. But I think that starting this journey has really opened my eyes to what I needed and I want to be that person for you. <laughs> when I started the journey, um, I didn't know that I needed to love myself more. I wasn't in tune completely with who I was. I was in a very toxic environment. I was struggling with chronic pain constantly. I felt lonely. I um, felt depressed a lot. And um, from, where, from where I grew up, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting emotional. Um, you don't typically ask for advice. Although people say, just ask for help, it's so easy. It's really not. <laughs> for me, it's, so, it's not easy. It's one of the hardest things to do. Um, a big part of my ego had to be set aside when I realized how deep in the dark hole I was and I had to kind of like climb out of it. Um, but thank goodness <laughs> that there are professionals out there and there are people who care and um, there are people who can guide you to where you need to be. For me, creating physical distance was a big part of it. It just so happened that I also needed to move to a warmer climate. <laughs> so I was blessed. I got a two for one there. So physical distance definitely has helped a lot um, in opening my eyes to what I need and being able to be with my sister, who's a support system for me. Um, we are for each other, honestly. <laughs> that has been a very big blessing. And then being able to work with um, people in the medical field and in the spiritual field, if I could say that, um, has definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone and on the right path to health in all aspects, not just mental health and wellness, physical health, all the things. <laughs> um, and I'll be sharing a little bit about that with you as well as we go along. So I'm sorry, this is gonna be messy, uh, but this is me. I wish I had someone that I could have related to when I first realized that I needed to make a change and I hope that I can be someone that someone else out there can relate to or can just be a little bit of hope when you feel like all your hope is gone. So here I am, <laughs> heart wide open, um, basically feel kind of naked in front of everyone right now as I'm talking um, and sharing things that I wouldn't 
normally talk about. So this is honestly just an intro into what I want to do this series. And I think that we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. <clears throat> I want to share like things that I have realized um, that are actually kind of simple, but you don't think about it in the moment. Um, and I want to be able to just share things, tools that I've learned along the way as well. So that's what to expect coming up. Um, just for today though, I just want to touch on a f one thing really. When I thought about self-love, I thought it was just self-care, as I said before, but it's so much more than that. <laughs> self-love means you take care of your entire self. That means your mental health. Self-care plays a part as well. Setting boundaries, finding your inner voice and listening to her or him. <laughs> um, and finding out more about yourself, like self-discovery of all the things. And then finally accepting yourself for who you are because self-acceptance is probably for me the most difficult part of all of this. So if you're keen to come along on my quest to love myself a little bit more, <laughs> I would glad you, gladly have you with me along the way. So that's just what the series is about. If you're keen, I'm keen. <laughs> Let's learn to take care of ourselves because as we take care of ourselves, we have more capacity to not just live out our dreams, but to take care of others and to be our true selves and who we see we want to be one day or the person we dream of being. So I look forward to sharing with you again. This is really hard for me, so please. Um, Hold your judgment to yourself. If you feel in your heart that you want to say something, please don't tell me. I don't want to hear it um, if it's going to be negative. If you have tips you want to share, I'm all ears. I feel like this needs to be a very comfort, like a comfortable environment for everyone. If you want to comment tips, go ahead and comment them. If there's something specific you want to talk about, please comment below. Tell me what it is. If I have any tips, I'll share them with you. I'm not a professional in any way, shape or form when it comes to this. This is solely my experience and what I've learned so far. Um, let's make this a safe space. Let's support each other because the world needs a lot more of that. And let's also just try and be positive light in this world. I think with everything happening and so much negativity, let's offset that. Let's be a brighter light in it all that's all for today but i'm really excited to uh get going with this and share with you so please subscribe so that you know when something new is on um i will still be talking about my health journey and i'll be sharing some makeup things but in this series it will be focused on self-love first thing is how to love yourself a little bit more and for me that was looking in the mirror i actually had to stand there look in the mirror look at myself and that was the most difficult thing so my challenge for you for this week is look at yourself in the mirror you don't have to say anything yet because i know how difficult it is to look at yourself and say anything positive so look at yourself in the mirror and just look, see who you are. Don't say anything. If a negative thought pops up, block it out because you're worthy. You are meant to be here. You're meant to find out what your purpose is if you don't know what it is yet. You are meant to change the world in any way. You don't know the little things that you do often create a ripple effect and the little positive or good note that you put out in the world 
that can actually snowball into touching a lot of people's lives in a good way. So go look at yourself in the mirror if you haven't it for a while. <laughs> I know I probably didn't look at myself in the mirror for probably like two years or so. I just couldn't um, look at yourself in the eye. Make a promise to yourself that you're going to love yourself a little bit more, no matter how hard it is, because still today I'm struggling. But every day gets a little bit easier. And let's just, let's start this quest to finding our self-love. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Chat again. Bye. Thank you.